Hi, my name is Madeline Franco, and we're here to talk about birds. Specifically, we're talking about sexing birds, uh, determining whether they're male or female. I'm standing here with two birds that are what we call dimorphic. This is the female. This is Zoe. And this is Nigel, the male. You'll notice that Zoe has some yellow spots on her, and she has a striated tail. They are red-tailed black cockatoos. And Nigel here has a red slash across his otherwise uh, black tail. He is otherwise solid black. Two other examples of dimorphic birds are Jasmine, who is a female eclectus, and uh, this here is Giuseppe, Giuseppe Verdi, which means in Italian, Joe Green. Uh, he is a male eclectus. You notice his beak, which is also a candy corn color. There are several Asiatic parrots that also have candy corn colored beaks in the male, and the female has a black uh, beak, most notably the Ber Derby and parakeet. Um, most parrots, however, are monomorphic, which means that they do not have any differentiation between the male and the female that is visible to us as humans. And this over here is a, an example of a of that sort of bird. This is a kaik. This happens to be a female, uh, but if it were a male, it would look not a whole lot different. Uh, those of us who know birds a little better realize that behaviorally you can often tell the difference. But my advice would not be for anyone to wait until a bird is older or lays an egg to find out that it's a female, because it's best to know the sex of your bird, because knowing the sex of your bird um, also helps you deal with certain behaviors that are typical of a male or female. The most reliable way to sex a bird these days is through DNA sampling, and there are many labs throughout the United States that will do that for you. For DNA sexing, all you need is a small blood sample, which you can obtain when you cut the bird's nails or um, something like that way, and um, you get your results back in a very short amount of time, with the email even, even quicker than we used to, uh, and it helps you, as I say, anticipate behaviors and deal with some problems and uh, hopefully uh, could save your bird's life if there is a disease or a situation that is uh, specific to a female, such as egg binding, that you would know about because you would know right away that your bird is female and that would be a possibility. Um, DNA sexing is, as I said, very inexpensive. It's about $20, $25, and it's highly recommended.